to UFC Heavyweight Showdown. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kelly. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Straight punch land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice elbow. Big kick lands. Right hand punch for clinch. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Right now, he's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lou. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Listen, breathe, relax. I need you to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. I want you to avoid that takedown. You ready? You ready? And he landed the right hand there. Good punch land. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish the fight. Big ball push lands. Now he gets back to range. Big body push lands. Just out of range with that right hook. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Real sneaky body kick. on that offering. Both fighters throwing heat now. 
big head kick land. Just misses with the right. That strike blocked by Kelly. Real nice body kick lands. Big power shot there. All right, single collar tie now. Ten minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Checks the leg kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to kick his leg out. Oh. That was a thudding leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and oh, oh, oh. oh this strikes is the biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Head kick there blocked by Kelly. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, here. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Strike attempt there is blocked. Stuff to take down, no problem. 15 seconds. Ooh, head kick lands. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Back out here, work on that Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. You cut your open good. You ready? You ready? Fight. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, 
Oh, nice punch there by Lee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Lee's shot is blocked. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at the turtle in that kick. Visibly limping here. Ooh, what a punch. Just missed with the straight left hand. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kelly! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a 